Hello, my name is Asnara Leaf. Today I'd like to review my third place solution for AMS Medical Olympiad. And I also I'd like to thank XX Markets and Kaggle for organizing this incredible competition. Here's what I'll be covering today. I will start with my background, then I'll give a short summary of my solution. I will talk about the model I selected and why I chose it. I will explain what motivated the key modifications. Then I'll walk through the algorithm step by step and I will go over some technical details. I will highlight the main advantages of the approach and finally I will wrap up with the results and conclusion. A little bit by myself, currently I'm a master student at KAUST doing research at Ivo Lab and previously I was working as a AI research engineer. Here is a brief summary of my approach. I used DeepSeq R1 distilled version by Quen. 14 billion AWQ as a model with no additional training from my side. And the core ideas behind my approach is to use branch based generation with early stopping. So, initially, I generated 5 branches, expanded to 10 and in the end to 40 branches, each up to 12k tokens. And if more than 6 answers finished and 1 answer dominated, mean over 70% of agreement, the generation stopped early. And to decide the final answer, I applied majority voting, so it balanced both accuracy and efficiency within the time limits. As to the model selection, I chose this model for its strong performance and popularity among the top public solutions on Kaggle. And no fine tuning or reinforcement learning methods such as DPO were applied, I just relied purely on its out of the box capabilities. Regarding my modifications, the main goal was to avoid unnecessary computation. In many cases, branches would converge early to the same answer, so continuing to generate tokens beyond that point was inefficient. Introducing early stopping helped to prevent this kind of waste. Another issue was the cost of generating each branch from scratch. Instead, I generated a few initial branches and then duplicated and extended them. This allowed me to reuse cached key values pairs for the shared prefix, reducing the cost of generating diverse completions. So here's the algorithm itself. We start with initial five branches, generate first 4K tokens with prefix caching on, and then we duplicate them, we get 10 branches, and continue up to 8K tokens. Now, at this point, we would like to do the following. We check whether we have more than 7 branches ready and more than 70% on agreement on the answer. And if it happens, we stop generation. Else, we select and duplicate. It means we randomly pick 7 unfinished branches, clone them, and run up to 12k tokens. Also, we apply time server mode. So as soon as we're running slower than evenly distributed per task quota, the decoder switches to time server mode. So in this mode, it starts with six branches, duplicate just once, and end at 8k tokens. And in the end, we apply majority voting over these boxed answers. Now let's move to the technical details of our solution. We have capacity limits first. Max number of sequence set to 14, so it's basically the total amount of branches in our generation. The second one is max model length set to 3 by 4 k tokens, it's total amount of tokens being generated, and this value is enough for two extensions past the initial prefix. As to the separate parameters, let's look at two of them. First we have temperature set to 0 0.8, so it keeps things diverse yet stable. And second one is max tokens is equals to 4k. So it's amount of tokens for the single forward pass. And as to our prompting strategy, each branch receives a slight different prompt template to reduce inter branch correlation. So all these things together balance speed memory and other diversity within the competition's hardware and time constraints. From my point of view, this approach has the following key advantages. 
reduced runtime. Earliest topic often stop generation at 8k tokens, which saves time. Also, it saves compute by avoiding unnecessary token generation. Memory efficiency. Clone branches shared cache data, so extra memory use was minimal. Uh, and answer reliability. Having multiple branches and using majority voting helped to reduce errors from the single runs. And finally, it handled time limits well. The time server mode automatically scaled down if we were running out of time. To wrap it up, firstly, the performance mainly improved because we generated multiple candidate solutions in parallel. With the larger branch pools, the chances increased that at least one branch would find the correct answer early, and the early stepping rule made the exploration efficient. The combination of branch duplication and early stepping helped boost both speed and accuracy without any extra training. Prefix cache reuse helped keep memory usage low, even when we were running 14 branches at once, and the time saver fallback ensured we could always return a result within the given time limit. And overall, this method was easy to integrate. It just required a few control rules on the top of standard VLM calls. So this led to a final result of the third place. Overall, we have 25 out of 50 on the public set and 30 out of 50 on the private leaderboard. That completes my presentation for MS Medical DP challenge. Thank you.